We're back with another update in this month's Product Pulse. This time, we're helping you take your webinars to the next level. Let's check out the new Splash Studio experience. We're just a few days away from our webinar hosted in Splash Studio, and Perry and I wanted to give you a behind the scenes look at how we prep for the big day. If you ever wondered what goes on backstage, you're about to find out. Perry and myself are hosts, so we're up here on stage. We're not live yet, but if you were to click that go live button, our audience would see and hear us. Yep, we also have Haley Kaplan, who is a presenter hanging out backstage. Hey, Haley. We can see Haley backstage along with any other presenters or hosts who might be waiting for their segment. Now, because Haley is a presenter, she can't come on stage until a host brings her up. Being a presenter also means that Haley is automatically on mute while she's backstage. But let's go ahead and bring her up on stage with a quick toggle. All right. Now there are a few different layouts you can use on the virtual stage. These are really gonna come in handy when there are multiple speakers on stage at once or when you're sharing content like a deck. You can configure the layouts to your liking, including adjusting their size and position. All right, thanks Haley, we'll put you backstage now. Before webinar day, some of the other Splash Studio features we'll take advantage of include our media playlist. This is where you can queue up any pre-recorded videos and slide presentations that we want to share to the audience. With another simple click, your media will be presented on stage. Let's take a look. Attendance Insights is Splash's AI-powered tool that predicts attendance and provides hosts with strategic Overlays also help take your webinar quality to the next level. We're talking newsroom style. Text overlays are a great way to help let your audience know what segment's coming up next, or you can visually showcase important talking points in a presentation. Another really great use of overlays is displaying chat and Q&A submissions on stage so your audience can follow along. Visual overlays allow hosts to display a static image on the stage to their audience. These images can be transparent. For instance, you can call attention to an important resource being shared or cover the full stage when presenters are coming on or off stage for their segment. You can save time and stress on the big day by uploading all these overlays in advance. The CTA tab allows hosts to create on-screen pop-ups with customizable titles, subtitles, and links to drive audience action, like a demo request. Those can also be queued up in advance and displayed on the fly with a simple toggle. All right, Perry, let's take a look at the engagement tools. Let's do it. So we have two chat options available, an on-stage chat just for hosts and presenters, and an event chat for hosts, presenters, and attendees. This is also where hosts can pin important chats and remove any unwanted chats. As far as Q&A goes, we can respond directly to attendee questions in line, then mark them as answered. This really comes in handy if you run out of time for on-stage Q&A at the end of your webinar. You can also give attendees the option to ask questions anonymously or set it so that questions need to be approved before they're visible to the audience. Let's hop into polls next. We already went ahead and queued up a series of polls that we can launch throughout the live event. But we can also spin up polls on the fly depending on what's going on in the chat. You can manage and customize engagement options from the settings tab if say you want all Q&A submissions to appear in the chat. Once you save these settings, everything will go into effect immediately. No need to refresh your screen. This is just the beginning of Splash Studio functionality and some of the key features we use to get us ready for a webinar and customize the attendee experience. We'll see you on the other side.